All right, so we're doing fancy brunch today. Ooh, am I out of focus? No. We're doing fancy brunch today in Celebration. We're not in downtown Celebration. I don't even know. Where the heck are we? Well, I don't know what you'd call this. It's right off Celebration uh, Place. It's got the payway and the tea room, and we're going to Holler and Dash. I think it's newer, but it's supposed to be really good. Chelsea said good things, right? Yep, it's famous for its biscuits. Yes, and then we're right by a hospital. Like downtown Celebration is like around the corner, which is funny because a year ago yesterday, if you've been following along on like the last year vlog, a year ago yesterday is when I went to the library, Celebration Library, to go fill up our sandbags for Irma. So that was a year ago yesterday. Super cool looking. Six simple ingredients. It's known for its biscuits. Look at this fancy, fancy place. And I was confused because when they first gave us their number, I was like, there's no base to it. <laughs> then all around the place, there's the little holes on all the high tops and the tables and the booths for them. And they even got USBs. And, and fresh cup of joe with a cute cup. And a cup freestyle. And what is this, the Apicot DVC lounge? What? You didn't get strawberry cream? Betrayal of the highest. Yeah, we keep on getting cars behind us, like, we're yeah. trying to take it slow. We're trying to go like three miles an hour. <laughs> like, this is where we're gonna live one day. Hopefully. Hopefully. But we are thinking, I like that little house. This looks like Beverly. Yeah. To me. Different houses. Nice looking houses. So if we know any realtors in... The celebration area. Guys, look at that cute little yard thing in the middle of this street, of this block. There's like... Just benches and little quaint little grass. It's so cute. <sighs> Alright, so I think, would you call this like a laid back Sunday? Would you? Why are you laughing? Because it's 1.40 and we haven't done anything. Right, it is a laid back Sunday. It's 1.40, we haven't done anything yet except for had brunch. Sarah's so editing, took a shower, shaved and whatnot. And I'm gonna make, I've been neglecting my whole bean coffees. And I apologize for everybody who has sent me some because I do love it, but I'm done. I'm done neglecting them. I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna start French pressing. I've got a cool travel mug that's a mini French press. I've got a full French press. I'm ready for some French press. He's very mad. But this coffee in the French press is very very good, but I've had all this to myself. I'm gonna be running around Sarah at the park. I think we're going, we might be going to studios. But look at this snazzy updo she's got going on. This is called a half up, half down, and it's my favorite. Give him a twirl. It's so different now that it's super short. Turn your head that way. Ooh, look at that. She could whip me in the face if I got, if she got mad at me. I straightened it, but you know it's how long that was. We're uploaded now. Nothing like a 3 p.m. upload on a Sunday. Woo woo! Alright, we are in studios and I gotta tell Sarah something that I haven't said yet. And I feel like some we've been in the rut the past like week or two of not appreciating the parks. And it's super important for us who live here and go as often as we do to keep that mentality. So I'm glad that we're back in the park. Yeah. And that we're here for like a majority of a day. Yeah. Because it's 3 3.30? Yep. Four ish? Just after four. Just after four, and we're gonna be here till park close, watch Fantasmic, maybe fireworks or something. But more importantly, I need you to do something. And we ran into our new friends, Tyler and Jess, or newer friends, Tyler and Jess, from 407 Eats. They have an awesome YouTube channel. They're they just eat like, all the food. they eat all the food, so like they're totally like us, we're foodies. If we didn't have a daily vlog, we'd probably be very similar in that fashion. We would just record us going out to eat. 
because that's what we love. And they are, they're awesome. They moved down here and they're just following their gym, living it and loving it down here. So, so genuine, just Disney yeah. loving people. We've, we've bumped into we them a bunch of times. Today, so. And we're gonna, we're gonna message them later and set up hanging out because we wanna, we wanna hang out with them. Yeah, but we want you, hang out and not just like yeah, a not a bump in. in. So go to their channel, 407 Eats, the numbers. No space. no space. We'll put a link down below and give them a subscribe and check them out because I feel like they, they should have a bigger audience than they have because they're, it's something, what's important to us is just being genuine and they seem awesome and genuine. So check them out. That right, breakfast, lunch, or dinner will wake you up. <laughs> that like almost brought me to tears. Like we haven't been on it in a while. Yeah. And like it was like extra good. It was extra good. Extra blasty, extra rocky, extra awesome. We got 15 minutes before uh, Beauty and the Beast, so we're gonna scoot on over there and hopefully. Like full on park day. Yeah, hopefully it's not packed because it is the last show, so I can see like. A lot of guests today being like, oh, we'll go to the last one. Oh, we'll go to the last one. Oh, oh. it's Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Ooh, so upset. Ooh, yeah. That was like my favorite wedding memory was all of our wedding parties singing Bohemian Rhapsody on the trolley. I don't even remember that. You don't? No. <laughs> what? These tiles can only mean one thing now. Beauty and the Beast. We're not the pickiest of seat pickers. For shows like this, as long as we get to see. Um, we're also like really fine on sitting on the edge, so a lot of times we'll go all the way to the edge, but all the way to the front. You just miss some of the stage if you're ever worried yeah. about that. Yeah, so if it's your first time, do try to get here early to get center. I think that's a suggestion for any attraction or any show. If it's your first time, get there early. 45 minutes is a good time. Good average, I'd say, no matter what time of year. If you're coming busier time, holiday time, maybe an hour before showtime, no matter what parade, phantasmic, stage show, anything like that. But average, I'd say, just overall 365 days, 40 minutes. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. You will marry me, Belle. Today's the day of all your dreams come true. <laughs> How could you possibly know that my dreams get done? Too much joy just now, so we have to go on this scary ride. Next stop, the Twilight Zone. Did I tell you? I'm not actually going back to work tomorrow. I got us a nice reservation on the penthouse suite of the Holiday Tower Motel. <laughs> There's been an, a delay in the ride, and I don't know if it's gonna add more excitement or more. They're not letting those people off right now, but that's the elevator that's delayed. A warm welcome back to those of you who made it, and a friendly word of warning, something you won't find in any guidebook. The next time you check into a deserted hotel on the dark side of Hollywood, make sure you know just what kind of vacancy you're filling. Look who it is, they're wearing comfies. There's Sarah, no Sarah spotted Snow White from afar. She's outside of the park. Look at this haircut. Oh my God, Look at this so haircut. This is the color I want. Yeah, this is the color I want. Freckles are popping today. Freckles exposed on the vlog. First, freckle reveal. <laughs> Although the camera's dying, and Eddie's here. Hello. The Green Army men are coming. 
and Slinky Dog's going on, and Eddie called this place underwhelming. Alright. Alright. I thought that was a drum line. But it wasn't. They're just going to play fun games, which is still cool. I just wanted to see the drum line. Eddie's trying to pick out his magic band. Forever, I was going to order a special custom one. I was going to get a black magic band with Donald Duck and then it had a signature on it, which was super cute. Donald's my favorite character. It's going to take over an hour to make. I don't have that kind of time on my hands. I need Chipotle. New photo app at Highwood Studios. When your GBF moves in. Mm -hmm. and Rob, up. We're leaving. <laughs> this guy looks just, you know, a tad on the worrisome side. I think it looks nice on the vlog, though. It does, um, but don't be, don't be fooled. So we're gonna start our 18-mile trek back to the car. Basically, where are you guys parked? No, I had Far. Oh my gosh, that looks very scary, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. Red Sky Night Sailor's Delight. Well, you know we're really friends with, with Katie now, when we actually come to the Chipotle. Eddie's not sure if he's getting something, but I told him he has to. I'm getting something. You're not getting something? Well, I wasn't really that hungry. Oh, what did you get? I got a bowl of chicken, rice, veggies, cheese, and lettuce. Sarah got a bowl of chicken, I think. I got a steak burrito, and it's a big old boy. Katie, what'd you get? A veggie bowl. All the meats? All the veggies. I feel like you go through the same thing that Sarah goes through for not drinking alcohol. We're like, this, everybody's like, oh, Katie wants all the meat. Yeah. It's like Sarah's always, so everyone's, right? everyone's, like, no. everyone's always like, Sarah, you're so drunk right now because Sarah doesn't drink. Yeah. Everyone gives her a hard time. Okay. <laughs> Katie's now, but look at how spooky these these ghosts are. So spooky. These girls are being super antisocial. That's interesting. Coming from you. He just had a live stream playing. You guys wanna do a live stream? <laughs> oh my god, Jamie. <laughs> Good, we I'm still li li you wanna do a live stream on our channel or your channel? Yours. We're live streaming at Katie's. Before we YouTube other things. Oh my gosh! Kate is sitting on their balcony at the poly. Oh, wishes. That's awesome. Can you take over our live stream once it starts? <laughs> I wish we right. were. People. <gasps> <laughs> Aurora just was like, I'm over this live stream. Boom. It's one in the morning and we're still at Katie's. We've been watching wedding videos. And we did a Facebook live stream and now we're looking at old vlogs. We always end up doing this. Katie gave us some of these honey sticks right here, so pumped about that, but look at this cool GoPro. Dustin got Katie. Ooh, look at that reflection of me on the selfie view. This is awesome. It's the Hero 5 or 6? Five. Hero 5. Waterproof without a case on, which means the audio is not garbage like ours. It is 1.25 in the morning. We are super, we're like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> um, we're super tired. One of these times, I know, one of these times we're gonna end up staying so late. You just gotta go to bed in the guest room. Yeah. <laughs> Matt and Ben, let out eat. Yeah. Or we just bring her. Sure. We should have a sleepover, like a planned sleepover. Soon. Mm -hmm. Halloween movies, we'll just bring them. Scary ones and fun ones. Good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.